Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, y'all are not gonna believe the insane interview that just went down between Prince Harry and Meghan Kelly. This woman really went scorched earth on his ass and had zero chill. I'm talking absolute maximum disrespect level 1000. Meghan did not come to play games at all. So it all went down on her new News Nation show when she had Harry on for this one-on-one -on -one interview that was supposed to be about him and Meghan's whole deal leaving the royals behind. But from the moment Harry stepped onto that set, Meghan was just savagely attacking him left and right, no holding back whatsoever. Right off the bat, she just starts grilling his ass about why he and Meghan keep publicly airing out all their grievances about the royal fam. Asking why we haven't heard the other side's perspective to balance things out and accusing them of just having a totally one-sided agenda. Harry's already looking shook, stuttering through some BS response about needing to address injustice and reform within the monarchy. But Meghan wasn't buying it at all. She basically accused them of only caring about freedom of speech when it lets them trash their own families. Damn. Can you imagine a bigger violation than someone saying you only speak out to spike your own blood? Harry was pissed, vehemently denying that he's some kind of Meghan puppet just doing her bidding. But Meghan relentlessly kept on that same angle. She straight up told Harry he was blind and passive, just letting Meghan lead him around by the nose as she dragged him away from his entire identity, legacy and duties as a royal painting Harry as this weak, clueless fool who stumbled into Meghan's scheming clutches and got manipulated away from everything and everyone he knew. At that point, Harry was fuming, snapping back that their decision to leave the royals together was mutual, and he wasn't some brainwashed dimwit under Meghan's control. But Meghan just ramped up the intensity even more, dinging them over their shady media dealings, the big money Netflix slash Spotify deals, and allegedly taking a huge loan from Princess Diana's bro. She accused them of being these opportunistic grifter hypocrites cashing in on their royal status while simultaneously attacking the institution. Bro, you could see the rage on Harry's face as Meghan brought up his mom's legacy like that and made it seem like he was betraying her principles and nobility. At that point, Harry went full Hulk mode, shouting that the interview had become unbelievably disrespectful and storming off the set. It was so wild seeing Meghan just relentlessly grilled him about being a blind controlled victim of Meghan's manipulations until he completely lost his cool. Not holding back with any of the disrespect or accusations she seemed to legitimately believe about their whole situation. And Harry didn't have any poised noble response, just letting his anger and ego completely take over when she hit those sore spots. Whether you agree with Meghan's takes or not, you have to admit her strategy seemed to work. She provoked Harry into betraying how he really felt, that in his view, he made the decision to leave the royals himself as a self-determined man, not just following his wife's lead, and questioning their principles, ethics and integrity royally pissed him off to the point of abruptly dipping out of there. After he angrily left, Meghan tried to keep her professional composure, thanking Harry for coming and emphasizing the importance of transparency around such complex, controversial situations. But you could low-key sense the smugness in her tone, knowing she'd gotten Harry to crack under her barrage and reveal his true colors a bit. Honestly, watching her interview made me see both sides a little differently. Like Meghan definitely crossed several lines with her accusations of Harry being some blind, manipulated fake husband under Meghan's spell. She posed a lot of nasty insinuations as facts without much hard evidence. But at the same time, I can't ignore how Harry really did look unhinged when she hit certain sore spots about his self-identity, decision-making, and ethical conflicts around royalty and cashing in. Is it really that far-fetched to think Meghan could be a driving force in a lot of their choices and Harry's acquiescence to many of her ambitions? He definitely didn't seem to have great answers whenever Meghan questioned that dynamic. That's the crazy thing about Meghan's strategy. It was harsh and disrespectful as hell, but could she actually be onto something with her reads about their relationship power dynamics? She could be dead wrong, but the way she was able to trigger Harry and crack his calm facade seems to hint at some real insecurities there too.
One thing's for sure though, whether right or wrong about them, Megan has zero qualms taking the gloves off and hitting these public figures with verbal flurries of uppercuts, jabs, and low blows. She might be a controversial heel to a lot of people, but you have to respect her ability to put powerful people on their heels and expose their emotional blind spots. The level of heat, accusations, and harsh personal truths she hit Harry with was on some Tony Robbins motivation speaker roasting your inner wuss energy, just digging and digging until his wounds opened up. It wasn't a flattering look at all for Harry, unable to maintain that stiff upper lip aristocratic regality under Medjin's relentless interrogation. At the end of the day, this interview revealed a lot about both Megan's interviewing mentality and Harry's inner character, headspace, and defensiveness around his decisions slash marriage. You can't deny Megan created one of those iconic viral cultural flashpoint moments with her line of questioning and ability to back an A-list celebrity into a corner. Love it or hate it, this type of explosive, pulled no punches TV is always going to get major eyeballs and set off shockwaves of debate. All the ingredients for that came together here. Heated personalities, clashing agendas, controversial accusations flying everywhere, and both parties demonstrating intriguing flaws and vulnerabilities. Mijin finally got what she wanted, that internet-breaking moment, Harry catching a major L in the process be damned. Whether this fractures Harry and Meghan's relationship with the media, public and royal family even further remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure, Meghan Kelly cemented herself as that no-holds-barred interviewer who's willing to burn any bridge and relationship to get the viral footage she craves. And Harry reminded us for better or worse, there may be some truth to questions about his independence of mind and individuality within his marriage. His reactionary ego definitely exposed some sore spots Medjin expertly poked at. At the end of the day, this disastrous interview is one for the history books, an explosive confrontation chock full of fireworks, personal attacks, and one interviewer absolutely decimating her famous subject's sense of nobility and self-respect. The fallout is still raining down, with people debating who ultimately won, the ruthless provocateur or the royally disgraced figure. That's showbiz, baby. So, what do you guys think about this news, guys? Sounds off in the comment and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.